After years, centuries, millennia of waiting, the time has come, my trolls, to achieve my destiny. I get here. Yes, yes. Now we leave. To Arcus, to the Iron Fist. Dr. Ted was wrong. We've definitely turned a corner in our relationship. Between our romantic bike ride the other day and this sunset flight, Gary, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <gasps> oh, move your butt, Gary! I'm trying, Claire. I'm not good at driving stick shift. Uh, Dr. Ted was so right about you. Move over! I'm afraid this confirms it. Chaos gave the map to Strykor, which means he's making his move on Arcus to find the Iron Fist. He better bring my castle back with a full tank of gas! And for those of you who weren't brainwashed spies privy to Strykor's master plan, the Iron Fist is an ancient artifact that will grant its possessor unlimited power. With it, Strykor could destroy the core of light and take over the entire world. Our one hope for saving the Skylands is to find our own way to Arcus and beat Strykor to the Iron Fist. But Chaos stole the map we had. Is there another one we can use? I'm afraid not. Hmm. There may be another way, but it would mean rescuing Cinder from out of the clutches of her father, Malfor. <gasps> How can Cinder help us find Arcus? She has a latent psychic ability that allows her to see the best route to anywhere in the Skylands. Oh, that's true. I even use her app in traffic. Unfortunately, ever since Malfor kidnapped Cinder, I've been telepathically searching the underworld for her, but I just can't forge a link. Did somebody say, Captain Flynn, we need you? I bet somebody did. How does he do that? you're thinking. Hey, Flyboy with the marble jawline, how do you take us to our pal Cinder? Well, as luck would have it, I was recently hired to sail a wedding cruise down to the underworld. Beautiful ceremony, first dance was lovely, there were no survivors, but while down there I spied sight of your missing Skylander and her dad Malfor. Captain Flynn, I, I don't know what to say. Thanks to you, we have a fighting chance to beat Strykor. If there's anything we could ever do to repay you for this kindness... Oh, I guess it's pretty clear I'm not getting paid then. Skylanders, you have your mission. Go to the underworld with Flynn ASAP. Locate Cinder and rescue her from Malfor. <gasps> uh, you know, just spitballing here, but what if we waited to leave? Those skies look pretty rough and turbulent out there. We could be sailing right into a storm front. Uh-oh, was that a drop? I think I felt a drop. Good forethought, Spyro. But the clock is ticking, so good luck. Cassandra and I will stay here to prepare for our journey to Arcus. Now, I'm not sure if I should pack a light coat or a sweater. I mean, I suppose I could always take the coat off, but then, I mean, then I tie it around my face. We haven't met yet. Flynn's the name, first name Captain. As luck would have it, also my profession. Yeah, I know. It's me, Spyro. Yeah, I don't think so. But... Stupid father. Stupid underwater prison cell. Stupid underwater prison cell that dampens my stupid powers. Think, think. If I'm going to get revenge on father, I need to free myself. And fast. Eureka! I've got the perfect escape plan. Get me out of here! Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 it 
It's a good thing I didn't cancel that yoga membership. Chaos. <gasps> Lummy? It's me, sir. Are you a g -g 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 ghost? Because if you're going to spend eternity haunting me, we need some ground rules. One, no haunting me from four to five. That's chaos time. What? No. Just go to the window. <gasps> Glummy! I'm so happy I could kiss you! In the hopes that it would break a magical curse and transform you from a troll into a beautiful princess who could then rescue me. Now get me out of here! Don't worry, sir. I'll figure something out. But first things first, we need to plug these leaks before they burst. Not to worry. I have them covered. <laughs> eh, maybe you should hurry. What? What bandy has silky skin? Yo ho ho, his name is Flynn. He's as strong as an ox, and he's as sharp as a. Hmm, what else rhymes with Flynn? Okay, it's gonna be chaotic once we get to the underworld, so let's go over my plan because things did not go too well last time we faced off against Malfor. <gasps> Everything will hinge on Spyro being front and center, putting himself in harm's way, ready to take on Malfor. Wait, what? Uh, my Spyro sense is picking up some major waves here. Well, there! Someone needs urgent help, even more urgently than Cinder. Wow, uh, that must be super urgent. We really shouldn't veer off course, but if this is really that serious. Oh, it is. It really, really is. <laughs> Captain Flynn, starboard! Starboard doesn't rhyme with Flynn. No, he means turn starboard. Spyro senses someone in need of our help. Someone in need of help? You got it. Maybe they can help me nail this lyric. Where is it? Where's the trouble? Uh, right here. Behind the sheep? No, it is the sheep. Look, it's about to eat that juniper skygrass. Whoa, that could cause some serious indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, sheep. Okay, well, a couple things. First of all, everyone knows sheep love juniper sky grass. Secondly, what's up? You've been acting weird all day. Acting weird? That is literally the craziest thing I've ever heard. And I've listened to Pop's autobiography on audiobook. So you're the one! Seriously, Spyro, if something's on your mind, you can talk to us. The only thing on my mind is finishing this mission to rescue Cinder from Mal... 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 Malfor. <clears throat> Sorry. Got a frog in my throat. I hear you, man. I got three frogs in my throat. <laughs> I found the perfect way to help Chaos plug up those leaks. Unfortunately, the oversized cork store was sold out. But I have the next best thing. Concrete! Yes, 20 bags should do the trick. Uh, 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 we'll do this one bag at a time. Uh, great. Now I have to come up with another way to rescue chaos. On the plus side, at least now I can finally build that bunker I've always wanted. All right, kids, this here is where I spotted Mr. Humongous Flying Bad Guy and his little purple pipsqueak. Perfect. Time to go rescue Simple. Ah, pipes! Man, I just had that painted! Really? Because it looks pretty old. Yeah, that's the paint color, old ship. It's brand spanking new. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, I'm out. Daddy Flynn's not gonna sit here and let his most prized possession play chicken with an asteroid field. But don't worry, I'll loop around and pick you kids up when you're done. So if you could uh, time your escape to eight minutes and 32 seconds, that'd be swell. <laughs> All right, team, let's keep our eyes peeled. And our bananas. They taste terrible otherwise. Look, over there. Cinder, wake up. Elf? Spyro? What are you guys doing here? We are here to rescue you. And, you know, as quickly as possible. You have to leave, now. No, no, it's pronounced thank you. I specifically put up a psychic block so that Master Eon wouldn't be able to locate me. But why would you do that? Because if my father found out you were here, you would all be in terrible danger. Listen, no offense to your father, but there's six of us and only one of him. I'm fairly certain he poses no threat to... No, please go on. You were saying something about posing no threat. Was that me? <laughs> I certainly don't remember saying... <laughs> I... I... Oh. 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 
that you're here. Why don't you guys hang out for a while? Man, I hate him. But you gotta respect the pun. <laughs> Thank goodness, Glummy! Please tell me you have good news and found a way to rescue me. I have good news, sir. I found a way to rescue you. Just uh, replace good with bad and, and rescue with watch you drown. I'm sorry, sir. It turns out my plan to plug the leaks was not as concrete as I thought. <laughs> it appears I won't be cementing my place in your art. <laughs> I was hoping this would pave the way to... Enough with the concrete-related wordplay! I mean, clever, but not the time! Well, I guess this is it. Sir, may I just say that I am truly going to miss you, and I apologize for all those sarcastic jabs I threw at you over the years. Wait, those were sarcastic? No, not at all. Oh, okay. And I suppose I'm sorry for all the brutal torture I put you through. I guess if I had to do it all over again, I would have been even more no. brutal! Because you can't even save me from an underwater prison cell! <gasps> Glummy, what's happening? Sure, the romantic flight didn't pan out, but nothing says I love you like a nice, relaxing fishing trip. Okay, I admit it. This is pretty relaxing. You've made up for earlier. Oh, just wait till I fry you up a nice big fish dinner, because this is gonna be a whopper! Cleverly memorize the map to Argus before handing it over to Father, I can now take my revenge. If history has taught us anything, I'm sure it will all go according to plan. We need to head 90 leagues due northeast, then a sharp turn south for 80 more. Bro! <laughs> um, I love you? Next time we go fishing, you better catch me a new husband! Cinder, you disappoint me. What have I told you about cavorting with Skylanders? I know the rules, Dad. No associating with non-evil beings and no texting during dinner. Spyro, what happened back there? I... I don't know. When I saw Malfour appear, I just panicked and couldn't move. In fact, just the mention of him all day has been kind of freaking me out. The truth is... I was scared. You? Scared? I've never heard you use that word before. Or the word hootenanny, which is a lot of fun to say. I recommend it. The last time I faced Malfor, I wound up getting turned evil and put all my best friends in harm's way. And the last thing I ever want to do is hurt you guys again. We know what you went through was traumatic, but hiding from what scares you isn't going to help you get over it. The only way to do that is to stare your fears straight in the face. And then you'll never have to be afraid of something like that happening to you again. But what if it did happen to me again? Foolish Skylanders. I would have thought you'd learned your lesson after our last encounter. I assure you that if you let us go now, we'll get the message this time. I have an even better idea. Drain you all of your light energy. It will give me the power I need to bring my undead minions out of the underworld and take over the Skylands. Even if you get rid of us, there's a whole team of Skylanders still out there who will never let you succeed. Not unless you let me help you with your plan. Why would you want to help me? Because I'm still working for Strykor. <gasps> ah! He had me trick those Skylanders into coming here. Consider them a thank you gift for your help in turning that lame, useless, though arguably more attractive Spyro over to chaos. Strykor wants to thank me? I am at his service. <laughs> yes, he's eager for you to join the team. So, along with a signing bonus, company car, and hefty per diem, he gave me an incantation to cast over you in order to give you the power of invisibility. Yes, with the power of invisibility, I could be an even greater asset to strike or... Totally, totally. Yeah, we're so on the same page. Okay, are you ready? Close your eyes. Noctum Balisho Kemper Vexperitos um, Territos uh, Yada 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 What are you yada, talking yada, about? Uh, Semper Igpe oh, uh, Yama Shada 
Schnacke, lacke, ding, dong. Jacke, tacke, klatu, burata, barista, magnifista. Sorry, I'm so late. That was more like 8 minutes 35 seconds. Rama, lama, ding, dong. Did it work? Am I invisible? Uh, yep, totally invisible. In fact, who said that? <laughs> But I can still see myself. Duh. Anyone who's invisible can see themselves. Everyone knows that. <laughs> oh, well, of course, yes. Uh, sorry, I'm new to this whole being invisible thing. Mm-hmm. What? No, no, no! You've betrayed me! Uh, no. To betray you meant that I was loyal to begin with. Bye-bye! Cinder, get back in right now! You listen to your father! Whoa, whoa, easy there, big guy. It's not her fault you're so gullible. I am not gullible! And how do you even know where I am? Dude, I didn't really make you invisible. No! was a tremendously good ruse. The look on Malfour's face when he realized you duped him. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> it was more like... <laughs> Don't you mean like this? <laughs> anyway, I think what they're trying to say is... Good job. Cinder, it's so good to see you again, safe and unharmed. Thanks, sir. It's good to be back. <gasps> Master Eon. That's the evil sorceress Cassandra. A lot of things have changed since you've been gone. Oh, well, uh, nice to meet you. A pleasure. Cinder, I know you've spent months trapped in the underworld. You're probably dying to see your friends, go back to your old room, catch up on hundreds of hours of DVR. But we need you to use your psychic power to help us locate the lost island of Argus. <sighs> These months with my dad have weakened me. I doubt I could even pull off a downward dragon in yoga now, but I'll try. <gasps> I've got it! I know how to get to Arcus! It's an epic quest and it's far from harmless. Yahaha! Ha, we're off! to Arcus, stoked to meet you, island, come out of the darkness. <laughs> I've seen that look on your face before, Cassandra. Do not worry. We are finally going to finish what we started so long ago. If we could pull this off, perhaps Chaos will finally see that the path of good is the right one to follow. Uh, guys? I think I figured out why no one knows the way to Arcus. We have to sail through that? Sorry. I thought I mentioned we had to fly through a transdimensional vortex to get there. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I would have remembered that. But then again, I do have a terrible, uh... What were we talking about? Is that thing going to hurt? Don't worry. The vortex may inflict unendurable pain, but it should only last a few seconds. Though in a vortex, a few seconds actually lasts for eternity. <laughs> We did it! We're okay! Ha! I didn't even feel a thing! I just saw all my nightmares! Hey, Captain, how much further until we get to Arcus? Nice setup. Wow. So this is Arcus. It's incredible! I've never seen anything like it! Huh? A bunch of rocks lying around. Looks like my childhood bedroom. Cinder, can you track down the exact location of the Iron Fist? It's over there, buried beneath that pile of ruins. When we're done saving the world, do you think you could help me find my keys? Not so fast! Strykor, it's been a long time. And sadly, that time has not been kind to you. 
You look as though you've aged two lifetimes. Well, at least I can grow a beard. Don't you ever mention my patchy facial hair. Time to give up, brother, because the fist is mine. Oh, you mean this fist? Chaos? The one and only. Hi, guys. Hey. What? But I sent you to the bottom of the sea. Yes, and thank you for that much-needed getaway, father. It really helped clear my mind. For instance, I now know exactly how to get my revenge on you. <laughs> Please, I'd like to see you try. Thank you. 